the former vice chancellor of the Amodobelo University, Zaria, Professor Daniel Saro, had alleged that the insecurity Nigeria currently experiences did not come by accident. Also, according to him, Boko Haram does not consist of meat grants. He stressed that Boko Haram terrorists are intelligent people who are highly connected to stakeholders in Nigeria and other countries in the world. The professor made the revelation on Sunday at the Thanksgiving service organized to celebrate his 80th birthday in Makodi, the Benue state capital, Daily Post reports. Professor Saro explained that the insecurity in Benue and other parts of the country was brought by deliberate actions, describing it as a well-coordinated agenda to spread Islam across the country. He said, the insecurity we are experiencing in Benue and Nigeria today is not an accident. It is a planned program. Boko Haram do, you know, does not just consist of miscreants. They are intelligent people. They are highly connected in Nigeria and other countries in the world. Their mission is simple. They want to conquer an Islamized donation. The, jihad, you know, the jihadist pattern that you hear about in the Northwest are also not miscreants. They are highly connected, highly motivated, and highly experienced in their own ideas and what they want. And they want to spread the caliphate throughout Nigeria. The Hamt Fulani headsmen and Boko Haram insurgents have contact that extend to the Middle East, Asia, Afghanistan, Saudi Arabia, among others. He alleged that they are founded with billions of naira to execute the conquest agenda of the caliphate in the country. What is your thought about this? What is your own reaction to this current situation? That the insecurity Nigeria is currently facing does not just come by accident, that's what a former vice chancellor of the Ahmad Bello University, Zaria, have said. According to him, Boko Haram are not just miscreants. He said the Boko Haram does not, you know, does not just consist of only miscreants. We also have intelligent people there. Also, they have an agenda. The agenda is to Islamize the whole nation. That is what they are trying to do. What is your own reaction to this? What is your thought about this? The insecurity in Benue and other parts of the country was brought by deliberate actions. That's what he said, describing such actions, you know, as a well-coordinated agenda to spread Islam across the country. What is your thought on this? Who would like you to share your own point of view with us via the comment section on this planet development? Who would like you to let us know your thoughts on this? Don't forget that insecurity did not just come by accident, it was planned. In fact, it was an orchestrated agenda to Islamize Nigeria. We would like you to share your thoughts with us via the comment section on this bubble for we go less people's reactions and know their thoughts about this. Let's see what people have felt concerning the current situation of things in Nigeria. Jokes. Ezio 4 reacted to this and said, the only reason why Nigeria have not been fully Islamized is because of Inandikanu and IPOP. Inandikanu have destroyed Nigeria with information. What is your thought about this? It is said that Inandikanu is a prophet sent to Biafra land because he sees even before it happens. He have the feelings that something is going to happen in the nearest future. And the same way he have foresee it, that is the same way we are having it now. According to what Ezeofa have said, the only reason why Nigeria have not been fully Islamized is because of Mazi Namdikanu and IPOB. We've seen that Namdikanu have destroyed Nigeria with information. What is your thought about this? What is your own reaction to this plan development? I would like you to let us know your own point of view on this that has been said. 
and Mecca around the walls of Yakcha to this unsaid. This is a known fact, and works in Namdi Kanu have been preaching. My advice to Nigeria is to allow Biafrans to go, you know, their separate ways. Then we can go ahead with their Islamization agenda if they think they can Islamize in the Igbo. No living thing will survive in the zoo. What is your thought about this? What is your own reaction to this present situation? We have heard what Emeka Erendu have also said concerning the present situation. That whatever Islamization agenda they might be planning or they are having in mind to execute. It is a known fact to Enamdi Kano already and he has been preaching it for a very long time. So my advice to Nigeria is to allow Biafrans to go so that they can go ahead with the Islamization agenda. But if they insist on keeping one Nigeria and they think they can Islamize in the Igbo, then no living thing will survive in the zoo. That is what Emeka have said. What is your thought about this? What is your own reaction to this present situation? Series of things have been said concerning the present situation of things in Nigeria. We just hope that we will soon get rid of insecurity. According to what has been said by the vice, you know, ex vice chancellor, he said insecurity didn't come by accident. Even this Boko Haram, they are not just full of miscreants. We also have intelligent people among them. So these people are connected to people in Nigeria and even outside Nigeria. So they are not miscreants. And we have heard from Ezio for saying that the only reason why Nigeria have not been fully Islamized. Is because of Inamdikano and IPOP. What is your thought about this? So many things have been said. We'd like you also to drop your thoughts on this. Leki Osisan who also reacted to this and said, This is a 100% fact. Unfortunately, even if it will work on others, I trust my Indubo brothers. They will rather fight with the last drop of their blood than to allow any evil agenda to be fulfilled in their land. There is no compulsion in religion. Inamdi Kano is indeed a prophet. What is your thought about this? My leader has been vindicated. Long live Mazinamdi Kano. That is what Ago Sunday have said. Said my leader have been vindicated. Long live Mazinamdi Kano. What is your thought about this? Like he said, this is a 100% fact. Unfortunately, even if it will work on others, I trust my Indigo brothers. They would rather fight with the last drop of their blood than to allow any evil agenda to be fulfilled in their land. He said, there is no compulsion in religion. Enamdikano is indeed a prophet. Just like I've rightly said earlier, that Enamdikano is just a prophet sent to the southeastern part of Nigeria because he will always give what will happen in the nearest future. All this has been said by Mazinam Dikano and we are now confirming it. We would like you to share your thoughts with us on this. Don't forget that insecurity didn't come by accident. It was planned to Islamize Nigeria. That is what the ex-vice chancellor at the Amaldo Bello University have said. Thank you guys for listening to subscribe to this channel if you have not and I will see you on the other news. Bye for now.